Hello everybody. Wish me luck as I tap dance through a minefield with this video. Mothers are the untouchable idols of humanity. Think about it. When was the last time you heard mothers being critiqued, analyzed, or discussed in, a, in any way publicly that is not flattering? This is a very difficult subject because most of us love our mothers very much in spite of their failings and they all do have their failings. To criticize motherhood in any way is alienating to a lot of people because many of us hold our mothers very dear to our hearts and rightfully so, but it's more than that. We're simply not permitted to criticize mothers. Not in quote-unquote civilized society anyway. One can criticize fathers, and this is permitted, and it is met with empathy and understanding, but to criticize mothers, or specifically one's own mother, is almost criminal. Society views the act of criticizing one's own mother or mothers in general as confirmation that something is wrong with the child. That the adult child who is criticizing their mother or mothers in general is at the very least mildly sociopathic. After all, our mothers carried us in their bodies for nine months, kept us alive with food and clothing. We owe our very lives to our mothers because we wouldn't have survived without their active parenting. And though I don't have any kids of my own, I can see the exhausted looks on the faces of mothers who have no doubt a never-ending siege as they raise their young children to adulthood. In spite of all that, mothers aren't perfect. Mothers make mistakes. Mothers behave selfishly at times. Some mothers are quite neglectful at times. And some mothers are even, dare I say, abusive to their own children. Some mothers have ill intent, yet we aren't permitted to discuss any of this. Regardless of whatever reality we ourselves grew up in, and perhaps it was at the hands of an abusive mother, we are not permitted to speak of this. We are to view mothers as the pinnacles of virtue, sacrifice, and love. And yet this is far from reality for many millions of children. So we allow a silent mystery to persist within our culture in regards to how mothers really are raising their children and specifically their boys. There's a shroud of protection that surrounds mothers and motherhood that not only makes them immune to criticism, but all attacks on the idea of their virtue, love, and purity of heart not being absolute are deflected back onto the criticizer as if the criticizer is an ungrateful douchebag or an unempathetic bully. Many children experience a family life where their mother, not their father, is the abuser and tyrant in their household. Many children experience the horror of watching their mother dominate and psychologically subdue their father, and thus rule the family at her own discretion and at her whim. This is extremely damaging to children to see this and to grow up in a household with a weak or neutered father. Yes, it's true that men are sometimes the tyrants in their household but I think it's much more likely that mothers are the tyrants because as we know mothers are the ones who hold all the legal and political power and this isn't true of all families but it's true of many. We have seen in the statistics that the number one cause of children being at risk for drug abuse, alcohol abuse, fighting, or psychological problems is whether or not they were raised by a single mother. And yet, in many quote-unquote nuclear families, where there is a father in the home, mothers are often able to completely dominate the scene 
and render the children to, in effect, be raised by her alone. Even though he is there, often the father, the father is relegated to a position of really no authority in raising his own children. I've seen in my own extended family evidence of this erosion of a father's authority over his own children. I've seen with my own eyes children threaten to tell mom on their father for him simply correcting them. And I've witnessed these children go to their mother and tell on their father, and what I've seen is appalling. I've seen the mother in this situation actually listen and make a judgment as to whether or not the father was out of order. It's mind-bogglingly bizarre to me to watch this unfold in a modern family. Mothers are not infallible. Mothers are capable of doing great harm to their own children, and they often do. And they don't have to do it by divorcing and taking the children. They can be quite harmful by simply supplanting the authority of the father in the home and rendering him ineffective as a parent, thereby eliminating the natural check and balance system of family government and eroding the respect that children should naturally have for their own father simply because the father refuses to stand up for himself for fear of a catastrophic loss of his family, his home, and his wealth, should she find him to be more trouble than he is worth. Perhaps you yourself have witnessed in your own family these dynamics at work. I imagine that many MGTOs identify with these family dynamics or similar. I imagine too that it is probably why we MGTOs are able to see clearer than others what women are truly capable of because we have witnessed some of this female tyranny firsthand. I don't pretend to have any solutions for this. I wish I did. But I think it's important that we see more MGTO videos that take an honest look at mothers and motherhood, not just the good things, which there are many, but also the not so good things that have caused deep trauma in us as individuals and have led to the cultural dysfunction that we all find ourselves in.